this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. All right, now I want to talk about how to do photo edges in Photoshop. These are very fun. You can make artistic different edges on your photos and have them, you know, look very interesting and different. And I'll show you how the concept of how this works and uh, you can try this out for yourself. There are thousands of different options. But I'll just show you basically the, uh, you know, the gist of it. So if we open up our layers palette here, we see that we have um, the background image here. We want to double click on it and just click OK. So essentially we have our image independence here. So we have some... Um, transparency going through the background okay now what I want to do is make a selection so let's do the elliptical marquee tool here holding down shift making a perfect circle essentially and let's make a selection to here for example now what I want to do is enter the quick mask mode but just before we do this I want to double click on it make sure that we're all on the same page let's double click make sure we're on selected areas and that opacity of 50 percent okay now, as you can see, when you go in and out of the quick mask mode, we have, when we're in it, we have a red circle. The red circle just basically shows you your selection. And once you're inside this quick mask mode, then uh, you can actually apply filters to this selection to modify it. So, for example, if I go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur, and put in, and you can see here the amount that we're making uh modification to our selection. Let's just put something in to around 20 pixels here. So it's blurry on the edges. We'll click OK. And now if we get out of the quick mask mode, it seems like we haven't done much, but essentially what we have done is um, made a selection that has a very fudge, fuzzy edge. So if we um, go to our layers here and do a, a quick shortcut here, which is Control J, Control J will copy our selection to a new layer. So we'll unview the bottom layer here. And as you can see, we have our picture and then it gradually fades out to transparent. If we wanted to just uh, help to see this in a white background, then we'll just create a new layer and do Alt and Backspace if we have it on uh, white here, white on black. And if you want to see what it looks like on black, then you can just do uh, Control and Backspace, and we see how it works in black. So you have a different photo edge here, right? Now let's just go back to the white here. Now what if you want to do something different, right? There are many things you can do with your selection. So we're going to backtrack here and uh, just delete these two layers for now. View our original layer, make another selection. Let's just make another square selection. And the selection really doesn't have to be square, it's just um, I'm preferring here um, visually uh, a square selection. Uh, a, a circle selection. Let's go into the quick mask home mode here and we're going to go to distort and uh, if it's hiding things click on show all menu items here and go to glass. So we're going to distort and glass and as you can see here it shows up a little preview of uh, what it is that we're doing and we can see already um, we're just adding a bit of a, a diffused effect here. It's just looking like there's a, you're looking through some uh, rough glass and you have different options here. But let's just go with the standard one. Click OK and uh, get out of our quick mask. So again, if we do Control and J, you can see that uh, we've added a bit of a different effect here. Let's add this on white for you to see. So there we are. And we can also combine things. So let's just go back here for the last time here and um, make another circle selection. Now first we're going to add some blur. And now we're just gonna go back and do um, the other effect, glass. So we're gonna apply some, apply some glass effect and as you can see it's adding a bit more of a different effect before as it did before right we're just gonna change this slightly here make it more obvious click OK and now we're gonna get out of a quick mask and do again control and J we'll add some white here to the background and as you can see it's made some cool very interesting effect which we can always you know change the color to black for example and it works on basically any background color you want to apply this to. So it's a very cool effect that you can do. There's many different things you can apply. You can uh, combine different filters and it's just a matter of just playing around with them. Usually you'll find that if you add some Gaussian blur and then play with different filters, you'll get more funky effects. And, uh, and those are photographic edges. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.